Hi, Lauren. Um, sorry about the getting the question back to you so late, but uh, this graph right here, we're graphing y equals x cubed. So the way we're going to graph this is we're going to use a table. So I've written the table out already. So we're going to plug in uh, negative 2 for y, or for x, so we're going to cube negative 2. So what does y equal when we cube negative 2? It means it's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So that's 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So that's what y equals right here. Or not 8, but negative 8. So if we go to negative 2, and then negative 8. Here's our first point. Okay? And then what we need to do, we're going to plug in negative y equals negative 1 cubed. Not squared, but cubed. So y is going to be equal to one, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And times another negative 1 is going to be negative 1. So this is going to be negative 1. Okay? So when we plug in 0 cubed, that's just going to equal 0. All right? In, when 0 is raised to any power, it's just going to equal 0. So we have 0, 0. So I'm going to... Um, put in both of those points. So then we have y equals 1 cubed. So y is just going to equal 1. Okay, and then we have y equals 2 cubed. So we plugged in 2 for x. So that's 2 times 2 times 2. So that's 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So y is going to equal 8 when x is 2. So I'm going to graph that point 2 and then this point up here. And that's going to be our x cubed graph right here. Alright, thank you for sending in your question and sorry about it being late. Have a good night.